The following was recorded in front of a live YouTube it's audience. While, and it's still gonna be a while. Hello, you big, beautiful mole miner. Have you been lonely? People just come for your modules and then they leave. But, uh, it's kind of actually hard to scroll past them seeing them there at the top right there. But we're gonna do, uh, three star ranged weapons. Wow, power armor is 120. That's probably why it scripts more, I guess. And that's how they justify the increase. But oh well, we're doing ranged weapons. Number one. Nice! It's one of the new effects. We got an Aristocrat's submachine gun. Damage increases as caps increased, which I hear is pretty ridiculous. Then the Vat's crits do 50% more damage, and plus 250 damage resistance while reloading. And I'm actually a new fan of the submachine gun. Just been using one the past couple days. Pretty cool. And I think it's about time we have a, a skin for the submachine gun. Maybe like give us some golden crestman or something. Number two. Not what I want to see. An Executioner's Fat Man. This effect, actually, they didn't do anything to it, surprisingly, but it is a pretty good effect by itself. You got plus 50% more damage when the target is below 40% health, which with a Fat Man, I guess, but I think explosive damage caps out at a certain point, so you can't really, like, you know, like, bump it up a lot. But then you can bash with 50% more damage with this, and then the Vats will be 25% less action point cost. All right, but number three... A quad snub-nosed 44 pistol. I'm actually having better luck than I thought. I thought there was going to be at least a pipe pistol by now. But I love to see quad even after the update. I just think that's an amazing ability right there. I like when you can not reload. And then alongside that giant magazine, you're going to have a 25% faster fire rate. I might actually have to test this one out because it's built for speed. It's also got a plus one agility. I do have a pistol build to go with it. Number four. A Mutant's Combat Shotgun, and this is another effect. I love what they did with it. I think it was such a good improvement. Uh, it increased Your damage is increased by 5% per mutation. Unfortunately, it caps out at 5, though, so you can do up to 25% damage. Could you imagine if you could... Well, I mean, I guess you couldn't imagine. It would be too OP, because how many mutations are there, like... But alongside it, it's going to have a VATS crit shot of plus 50% damage. Is a Combat Shotgun the best in VATS? Even if you have it, like... Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to check that one out, too. And then a plus one perception, which is going to help your aim a little bit. So, yeah, that could be a contender. All right, we're going to go with number five. An anti-armor short western revolver. This one ignores 50% of the target's armor. This is an older effect. Didn't really get anything touched. But yeah, this one follows up the anti-armor effect with a new effect they added, which is uh, the inertia? Effect, I think they're calling it. Replenish action points on each kill, and then plus one perception for your aim. That's not bad. I was hoping to get more of the new effects in that first slot with these rolls, like that first Aristocrats. So that was nice. But this isn't half bad either. I would definitely try it out. There's a whole bunch of testing to do with all these new effects and combinations. But from what I hear, Aristocrats might be the winner. But all right, here we go. Number six, the final one. Aye. <laughs> Of course. Alright, it's a complete dud. We got a Medic's Broadsider. Vats crits heal you and your group, plus 50% limb damage, and plus 50 damage resistance while aiming. Yeah, it's a big womp. Um, cue the duck noise. Yeah, why not? Let's do a two star. And it was a bust. Beep, beep. Hey guys, stop fighting. Fight me. No, fight me instead. Okay. I am the wiener. Oh, there's a red stag. Nice. Here, wait, I always wanted to try this. Uh, I saw a video on Tier. He did, uh, like, like I saw, I just shot a 63. We have to keep that in mind. But it said, like, the weak point on a red stag is actually, like, the other head. So, like, I hit a 63 on that head. And it's 90 on the right. Like, and one, one that's nuts. So always shoot a rad stag in the right head. A tummy gun. But it's pretty nice, especially with the... Uh, my favorite thing so far from this update has been that mutants effect update. If you have the five mutations, 25% buff, and then like if you have the hitman's effect, which I have on like another weapon, it gets pretty nuts. 
Come on, guys. Everybody come out of the woodwork. Let's go. Everybody, come on. Wake up, bud. Everybody wake up. Let's go. We're going for a roundabout. Come on. Come on, guys. Wake up, bud. Come on. Everybody get up. Oh, yeah. Come on, Sally. Oh, no. Now it's getting nuts. Juke. Juke. What's up, guys? Oh, oh, oh. I think I saw a legendary, or it was a diseased one, I don't know. Oh, I even pulled the guy from outside. Hey, guys, wake up. Oh, no. Hello? Wake up, guys. Thanks. <laughs> I'm backing up. <laughs> It's like, oh no, I don't want any of that business. Hello? <laughs> Just like unload. Oh, they can get over the table? That's new. I should be batting. Oh, that was a legendary. There you go. Crit fever. Any more? Did I cause enough of a ruckus? Wait, did he just? Hello? Oh, there you are. Too many crits. Can't keep up. And there he is. What's up, bud? Just gonna stand there? Okay.
like uh, an oasis out in the wasteland, you know? Imagine like you were just a random player and you walked up on this. Hold on, like, let me, let me set up the scene real quick. You're out in the thick of it. You're out in the middle of the woods. You hear a, you hear a big tree branch crack or something, and then you hear a roar, and then, and then you turn around, and you... Oh, it's gone. Never mind, I lied. It's gone. <laughs> it's, it was a mirage. There's a couple events in the game, like if you go to specific spots, like you can trigger them by just walking into the area if it hasn't been activated in a while. One is, uh, wow, I'm drawing a blank. Well, if you go to the vault -Tec Agricultural Research Center, there's like a robot quest there that always pops up, which, wow, I can't believe I'm drawing a blank. If you go to Morgantown, you can get Collision Course to pop up, or if you go to the Morgantown Airport, I should say. And then the one I've been trying the trigger that I'm not sure if it's like broke, or if it's been fixed or what but usually if it hasn't been activated in a while and you go to the Mount Blair train yard you can activate a public event called battle bot and it's like really easy super fast it's also great if like the weekly is like kill those five specific types of robots because you get a guaranteed uh, century bot and then a couple handies but yeah hold on killer sofa <laughs> it's like don't sit in this couch oh my god and it's like an arm piece and it's on Tubi I will watch any free movie. Seriously, I'm just gonna throw these in my playlist. Yo, killer sofa. Have you seen the pictures for it yet, 8-Ball? Because the sofa itself looks hilarious. Like the buttons are its eyes. Oh, and it did activate, look at that. All right, so it does work. Maybe I've just been popping up where it's been like activated recently or something. But yeah, you go to this train yard and then it's just like, Battle pop pops up and it's like, go kill the security guy. And the security guy is the sentry bot just walking up and down the street. You get him to ride back because you do have to pick something off his body. He said yes. Yeah, no, that one's. That's a free watch right there. I might have to watch that one myself. Killer sofa. I'm curious about, like. The first thing I thought about is I want to see the first, like, kill scene or the first death scene. I imagine it just, like, munches them. You know, like, the, the sofa chomps as if it was a mouth. I'm like, what, what kind of premise? Like, oh no, we gotta run away from the couch. Don't sit on this couch. Or, like, the movie opens up and they're at, like, a, a furniture store. And it's just like a couch in the corner and they're just like, we're trying to get rid of it. It's a, it's a BOGO discount. You can just have it. Just don't sit in it. The pictures remind me of Evil Bong, which I do know that one. That one's a good one too. Well, I shouldn't say good, but you know what I'm saying. Killer Bong, that's a funny one. That was another one where a buddy of mine was just like, stop everything you're doing and look this up. Oh, I didn't do it fast enough, did I? Or did I? No, I didn't. Gotta be quick with it. Did I do it? Yes. It's good scrap here too, but it's that simple. And then you get some good circuitry scrap, some copper. <sighs> nice little lever action, some screws, some glue. 